Aries, welcome back to my channel. Let's look at what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Aries, what does the next 72 hours have in store? So we're gonna do a eight card spread to see what's going on. Aries, what does the next 72 hours have in store? So we have the Lovers, the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Hierophant, the Knight of Wands, and we have the Empress as the outcome. Love the Empress as the outcome. Love, love, love. Let's put this here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. Aries, the next 72 hours, just the overall energy surrounding them for the next 72 hours. Put these back. Aries, for the next 72 hours. So we have friendship and we also have knowledge. Okay, perfect. So we have all the cards out. So let's address the Oracle cards we have here. And really quick before we even jump in, if you want a personal, check out the description. My other YouTube channels will be listed there. And if you want to see future readings, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and like the video if you do resonate with it. But jumping into the Oracle cards first, Aries, there's going to be themes surrounding close relationships that you have, maybe mainly on a friendship level, but I just think that this is overall in terms of all types of relationships, a business relationship that you could have, a friendship, love relationship, friends with benefits relationship, whatever this is, connections outside of you are going to be a topic, are going to be a thing during this time frame. And with knowledge showing up, some of you could be gaining some information that you needed or a piece of understanding that you needed to make some sort of decision or move. Uh, you could be also doing a lot of research when it comes to maybe you wanting to relocate to a different state or a different area, or you doing research on like different topics, whether this is, you know, to make money, in regards to future plans that you're making. There's going to be pieces of information that kind of give you insight so that you can make some crucial decision or choice or kind of stand in some sort of decision or choice that you've already made. But going deeper into the reading itself, the first card is going to represent the current energy around you. And we have the lovers representing that. So again, your relationship with others is going to be a topic. The lover speaks about how you connect with others, choices, decisions. In this reading, there could be like this showdown between you and a love interest where you both are standing on how you feel in terms of the relationship, your, you know, your stance in terms of what is affecting the relationship. Whatever this is, both of you guys are kind of standing on how you feel. And during this time frame, you could be faced with some sort of choice or decision that you have to make about a particular relationship or, again, about something crucial that you're about to do. What is this lover's card here for, for the current energy? So first card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be a choice in terms of career. Should you keep the current job that you have or move into a different one? Should you do this with your money or do that with your money? Should you be single or maybe get into a relationship with the love interest here? Because the Nine of Pentacles also represents singleness. Okay, should you do things independently or go into business with someone? These are the questions that are going through your head. Now, when it comes to what you should be pursuing over this time frame, I have the Six of Cups. So... You should be pursuing certain goals that you've been having for a minute. Like the Six of Cups is speaking to 
you having certain desires that are not just, you know, sudden. This is you, you know, knowing that you truly want to be a um, an artist or a doctor or whatever this may be. This is pursuing your goals and not losing sight of what they are, especially if this has been childhood dreams or goals or, like I said, longstanding things that you've been wanting to do. For others of you, this is more so like pursuing peace, making peace with your past. And when I say this, this is like making peace with accepting that the past has happened and now that you can move forward. Um, or even pursuing a better relationship with the person you may have children with, whether that's like co-parenting, um, if it can't be romantic. And also getting a level of understanding between you and a soulmate connection. Uh, instead of you guys being in disagreement or, like I said, being in the standoff energy. Now, what to be cautious of, I do have the Nine of Cups. And with the Nine of Cups, this is being tricked into situations that seem too good to be true. Like, this card is a very positive card. But the curtains in the back <laughs> always, to me, have been funny because it's like you don't know what's up under those curtains. Yes, there's Nine Cups there. But this isn't the Ten of Cups, and there is still a curtain behind this man, and you don't know what's up under it. So this is making sure that you don't get tricked off of, like, desires or wants that could be more so, like, surface level without really looking below the surface, especially if this has anything to do with a person or any opportunity. This is making sure that you're not just taking things for face value. Okay. Now, when it comes to your financial situation during the next 72 hours, I have the three of pinnacles. So some of you could be making money for multiple streams of income. You could have like three different streams of income and that's, you know, helping you keep afloat. This could be you um, just working, uh, working, trying to make do with your resources. You could be being a lot more strategic in how money is being spent. You could also get approached in terms of a raise or in terms of you getting like a promotion. Or if you are self-employed, there could be this like going back to, how do I say this? Like reassessing your business and seeing how you could bring in more income or bring in more flow. Uh, and you could also be starting to see results of hard work that you've been putting in for like the last couple of months or so too. Now, when it comes to love, I have the three of cups in reverse. So you could be deciding to not reconcile with someone or a reconciliation could be postponed. Uh, there could be a certain friendly, friends with benefits situation that you could have as well, that you could be questioning whether or not this person is serious about you or just trying to have their cake and eat it too. So that could kind of make you side eye this person. For some of you, you could just kind of take a step back from it or just be in this energy of side eyeing them a little bit. You could be just wanting to make sure also too, or your partner, wanting to make sure that there is no third party present. Now, when it comes to just the message from your higher self during this time frame with the Hierophant being here, some of you guys need to be unapologetically you and stop trying to fit into these molds of, you know, what other people around you may, you know, approve of or, you know, taking in consideration of how your family may look at you if you go down your own path and your own journey. Because the Hierophant in reverse is like non-traditional. It's, you know, unorthodox. And for a lot of you, you are a different person than a lot of people around you. You could have a different way of seeing things, a different way of doing things. Um, or you could just have different wants for your life. And you could have judgy people around you that are making you feel like you have to, you know, stay in your hometown or, you know, stay away from being spiritual and more so be religious if that's not necessarily what you want to do. This is you just needing to live in alignment with what you want to do and not really taking in consideration of what other people may think about you in doing so. And for my my recently single Aries, this is a message from your spiritual team that, or not spiritual team, your higher self, that right now you could be in a period of 
needing to just kind of do you so that you can get back in tune with who you truly are. Now, advice, Aries, I do have the Nine of Wands. During the next 72 hours, you do need to work on consistency, especially in your actions and efforts with your creative endeavors, your passions. If you're a business owner, um, this is you, like I said, showing up consistently. This is also working through, if it's not like career related, this is more so speaking to like your energy, prioritize and keeping your energy up in higher spaces. You could go through fluctuations of, you know, feeling really good and then feeling really burnt out and just kind of exhausted. So that may be a sign that you need to find ways to delegate your energy the right way. And be careful of what you're giving energy to, period. Now, outcome with the Empress growth i see overall growth for you guys you could be touching a lot more money okay there could be you know a paycheck that comes in that gives you a financial boost you could be uh getting some sort of lump sum of money that you've been waiting for uh, you could also be just in the space of really taking care of your aesthetics your look uh, there could be some sort of like upgrade that you do to your look like maybe buying some new outfits or uh, changing up your hair or just being more so focused on self-care by the end of this time frame but you could be making more money and doing you and I really see this as you guys taking a more mature approach to handling things but this is what I see, Aries. I hope that this reading was helpful and I hope that the next 72 hours is prosperous for you. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you next.